Mm. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Taryn with Sewing the City, and today you can see I'm back inside my kitchen. That's because we're doing another recipe video. I'm so excited because I'm finally using uh, one uh, fruit that I grew all the way from last year. Okay, so I'm finally using it. Um, I preserved it in my freezer, and it's time to use it. I don't know why it took this long to use it. And that ingredient is butternut squash. Look at how beautiful this is. And it smells so good and it's so beautiful. But anyway, so the recipe that we want to make today is a butternut squash soup with Bartlett pears and a roasted butternut squash seeds on top. So I'm really excited about that. I might also put some roasted pumpkin seeds on top as well. But I'm so excited about this. It's going to have some good herbs in there as well. So without further ado, let's get started. These are the main ingredients that I'm going to be using. So I wanted to show you, of course, the main, main ingredients, the butternut squash. Look at this. I'm so excited to cook this for you today because, like I said, I grew this butternut squash last year. So I'm finally going to be able to use it. Um, and I... I unthought it and I cut it into one to two inch pieces um, so it's basically no smaller than this and no much larger than this okay well, that's what I did and of course I took the seeds out there's no seeds in here okay that's very important um, so that's the butternut squash and then I have the pears these are local pears local Bartlett pears I would use the pears from my tree but they're not ripe yet so these are just local pears okay and then we have our other ingredients. We have, this is something that I'm really excited to cook with because I haven't cooked with this a lot and these are leeks. So I finally diced up the white part and a little bit of the uh, tender green part of one leek. Okay, it's a medium sized leek. I also did about one fourth of a yellow onion. So I, I chopped up about a little less than half of the onion and I diced that up. Um, and then, of course, these are some of the butternut squash seeds, butternut squash seeds that I have. You can't really see them. These are some of the butternut squash seeds that I have. And then I also have a little bit of garlic here. These, it's about two cloves of garlic that I peeled and finally diced. I also have one can of full fat coconut milk. The brand that you use isn't really important. You just need to know that it's one can of full fat coconut milk. You don't want to use the light. You want full fat. All right, y'all, let's get to cooking. This recipe is so simple to make. Um, so the first thing I did was just put some oil in a saucepan um, and I'm gonna cook it on medium to low heat. We don't want anything to burn. And you can see me putting my garlic cloves in the pan and I just finely diced about two garlic cloves. You can do as much as you want. And of course we don't want it to burn so just stir it up frequently. Now you can see me putting in my leeks and my yellow onion. I, of course I finely diced those, but we're gonna blend them together so I guess you don't have to dice them too small that's up to you okay and then we're going to uh, take the top off because I let it simmer for a bit stir it frequently don't let it burn keep it on medium to low heat add a little bit more oil if you need but not too much now you're going to add the butternut squash and of course I peeled my butternut squash um, that's important to me I, I like to peel it and I did about five cups you can do five to six cups and then I went ahead and added my pears again I also I took the skin off of those pears as well and so you're gonna take the top off after letting it simmer for a bit and you're gonna add your veggie broth now I always use low sodium veggie broth that's important for me uh, but again that's up to you and uh, you don't have to use a particular brand in fact you can make your own veggie broth so then you're going to let it come to a boil okay and it's gonna smell so good and look so amazing I wish you could smell this right now you're going to stir it frequently add your seasonings I add a little bit of uh, freshly cracked pepper um, garlic powder I added some onion powder, um, a little bit of sea salt, not too much, just a little bit. And you're going to add a little bit thoroughly throughout the cooking process. And can continue to stir so that nothing uh, sticks to the bottom of the pan and so everything cooks well together. And you're going to let it simmer for about 20 minutes, okay? 
And after that, you're going to blend everything together. Now this, I, I, I wish I had an immersion blender because putting the whole thing in a skinny blender like this was hard, but I did do it. Uh, next time I'm getting an immersion blender though, okay? For sure. Okay, and then we're gonna put that blended up soup mixture back into the pan. And again, it smells so good. I wish you could smell this right now. And you're just gonna stir it on medium heat now, okay? You can put it on medium. And I like to put fresh thyme. Fresh thyme is important to me. I, I don't prefer like dry thyme. It's completely different than, you know, if you did it fresh. So that's what I like to do. And I like to put it in at the end because it just tastes more, uh, fresh <laughs> and it's just more potent if you put the thyme in at the end and then I added a little bit more seasonings just things that I thought I needed more of which is mostly garlic powder fresh cracked pepper and a little bit more sea salt okay y'all the butternut squash and pear soup is finally ready so let's taste it let me say it smells absolutely amazing y'all this is delicious this soup is so good I can taste the sweetness from the pears, but I can also taste the somewhat savoriness from the butternut squash because butternut squash isn't too sweet, but it's also not too savory. I can taste the fresh garlic, the thyme, um, the, the fresh cracked pepper. Oh, wow, this is so good. And then the onions, you know, all blended in together. Mmm, that's amazing. I'm gonna go finish eating my soup but I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this video. The full recipe will be in the description, so if you want to make it yourself, feel free to. I will also work on getting my website live very soon. Y'all, this is a lot of work. Getting a website live is a lot of work, but don't worry. I'm going to do it, okay? Um, I'm really passionate about that, and I hope y'all really like it. But in the meantime, I'm going to go finish eating my soup. So without further ado, I'm going to go, but don't forget, no matter what you're going through, no matter how stressful it is, remember, just keep sewing. Bye.